Aduh. Hi guys. Uh, it's been so long, right? From last Saturday for today. All right. Uh, so as you can remember, we did the rough sketch and uh, we figured out where to put the structure. We figured out some patterns and I gave you some art tips, fences you use when you're drawing the rough sketch, right? So today, uh, as the thumbnail says, today we are going to talk about how to focus on the fur and the shading. Basically, as you know, we are still using the uh, first reference picture. And also, so we're going to use that uh, regarding uh, the road travel, right? So uh, guys, are you ready? Everybody there? Yeah. How many of them are there? Two, three, all right. Uh, so, uh, welcome on stage, uh, our backstage people. Uh, today, at the moment, uh, Adisha Silva is not there, yet my brother is there, uh, controlling the chat and the camera. Uh, he will be back soon as well, so say hi to them. And so we'll start our work uh, from this figure. Can you guys see the picture? Right, okay. So we will be focusing uh, today on the uh, puppy part because we stopped uh, all of a sudden we had to stop because of a technical issue that happened so we have to start from the puppy so as you could see uh, oh and by the way i almost forgot uh, i went through some of your pictures and i think i gave you some you know feedback regarding those pictures as well and for those who did not receive my uh, feedback uh, please do put uh, your you know uh, give, put it on the whatsapp so that i can give you my feedback and by the way, Rishit, can you like please uh, put my number again on the chat so that uh, they could uh, join back again? Right. And again, uh, uh, what I wanted to focus again was uh, the puppy part. As I went to, you know, like here, this part, uh, I saw some uh, pictures with too much exaggeration on the neck part. Right? So uh, when focusing on a picture like this, as I have always seen, always consider about the structure. And if that is your problem, if you can't focus on the structure, you can use some guidelines. For example, uh, now, uh, can Rishi show the reference picture? Can they see? Yeah, uh, guys, hold on, because we have one person on backstage today. Uh, so we need a little time all right uh so as you can see the reference picture uh the dog puppy is on the head on of the bigger dog uh we our structure our margin is the top of the head or oh, head or the uh like you can see huh? the part of the puppy on the top and also the edge is the lower part of the uh part that's the uh neck right so those are your margins. And as I told that day as well, we focused a little more on making the, yes, can you turn it to this side? Yeah. Yeah, so we focused when creating the painting picture, we did not put it as it is for in the picture. We made our picture or as we made our portrait to come on the middle of the pic, uh, paper, right? As you can see now, when we consider the reference picture, it's not like that uh, because it's it's in the center and that is not in the center, right? So we are always when you're looking into a reference picture, use you know quality reference pictures, and also make sure that you're not copying exactly what it is. All right. So if that is the purpose, what's the use of uh, drawing? You can get a picture, right? Right. Anyway, uh, now as you can see, to center the uh, center of the picture, I have like kept space here. An equal space here that comes with practice, guys. That comes with practice, and uh, but I had kept a little more on space on this, uh, on the top. That is for one reason because I, you know, like uh, the clip is also there. <laughs> That's one reason. But then again, I managed to, you know, margin the stuff from here to the clip, right, and from here to the bottom of the page. So that is the margin. Can you see the margin like that? This. So when when you're considered in that, that is really important to, you know, like at least center the picture, you know, like I, I don't want to see pictures cut off. You know, that that's one kind of a, a 
art artwork you could call it but then again um, you know like for let's say uh, customer purposes let's say commission purposes lots of people tend to draw something like you know these kind of stuff not not when it is like exactly like the picture they they do ask for pictures to draw it at, exactly as it is but i mean like it shouldn't be you know it shouldn't be the way that the picture is but the the figure should be identified you should find the personality and all those stuff, uh, stuff should be included right so uh enough of speaking uh, are you guys all there all right uh so let's start uh, shading uh yeah so when i went through the picture again i found out a very small issue can you see should i turn it right all right so uh oh sorry guys what happened are they connected yet right sorry right okay can you guys see uh again very is it all right okay uh, i'm sorry we had uh, you know thinking of making it come around here like that yes as you can see now i marked this snout below and right above the nose tip of the snout of the male dog that is the dad dog right so welcome guys on stage uh, backstage people all alive so now there will be no technical problems sorry for the ones before cool everybody ready now we'll start from the beginning cool uh so as i was telling what we stopped here was uh, i was making the picture go down a little because the reference picture did have a little more you know the reference picture did have a little small uh, you know uh, the adjustment issue so i made it a little bit adjustment so people uh, who send me the pictures you i i found a lot of errors on that for example keeping the uh, exactly the my error was also there with you guys obviously right like the teacher like the student <laughs> yeah anyways guys uh, you can make that issue by making this not little go down that's what is important all right so i made it now you can follow it up uh, guys uh, are you guys drawing with me how many people are there drawing with me no on one person right all right no mind uh let's see so i made this up from here it's not part right here at like that just make it a you know a, a oval size figure a little and uh trying to focus where the eyes of the pup comes next and we had that uh, i think last time we stopped by the eyes of the puppy and if you guys have not seen the previous video i i believe that you better see it because this is exactly not from scratch because the scratch video was actually the previous one and this is the next part of it the continuation part right so Here we go down below putting it up here and i found out the snows is here right so we just mark it randomly like here and there you go right like that okay so the puppy is cute but then again uh, it is also a rottweiler so you have to make sure it is cute as well as identifying what breed it is right so don't tend to exaggerate the cuteness because uh, sometimes when you are exaggerating the uh, cuteness of a puppy or a dog probably you will lose the tension of the personality of that particular dog right so let's uh, hit on the eyes part a little we are marking oh yeah actually we are marking the normal stuff which we did like in the previous so we are starting shading in a little more time uh, because we found some errors you know we had to eliminate all the errors before going to shading part i'm still using a 2b pencil if you would see 
uh, and I, I took my ha- erase on my hand, uh, not, not like yesterday, uh, not like last week, if you could remember. I kept the erase and it almost fell before. Yeah. So uh, then again, I kept my erase here. And uh, now we are focusing more on the eye- eyelid parts. Actually, now we are talking about the eyes and also the eyebrows. Uh, moving back, if you guys could remember, I'll again show you the skull. Uh, yeah. So showing you the skull again. Uh, what I'm focusing here is actually the puppies, this part, all right? Not the male dogs, uh, big big dogs one, but the puppies, this part. So this part is your eyebrow. Can you guys see the eyebrow? Uh, this this part. These two parts are the eyebrows, right? Okay, we are having a little pet issue. Uh, our dog is right next to the camera. It might shake a little. Right, so I'll keep in this here. Okay. Right here you go. So now you have that cuteness again. Uh, you know, like with the tension of the Rottweiler, you always have to maintain that while you are doing that, right? So here is the eye socket as usual. I'll be drawing it as that. You know, it looks ugly in this stage, but you're gonna fix it up, right? So there you go. So the eyes are actually closed. Am I right? Yeah, the eyes are a little bit closed. Yeah, yeah, I start close. Last time we could remember, uh, my brother told that he's a new reborn guy, newborn doggy, but uh, it's not right. I think probably she is, or he or she is sleeping. Right. Okay, so we are almost done with the you know uh, the part of the nose and the eyes and the face of the puppy going through a very little more. So this is your, the paw of the uh, puppy. And I found another error, which is this one, you know, I should be a little bit bigger. And here is the puppy's uh, paw part once again. So we did not tend to do anything on the puppy's paw or we did not detail anything yet. So now it's the time to detail and start shading. So before you do this, uh, if you could remember, I in the morning section, I named this, you know, the margin to show that it's on center. Now you don't need the guidelines anymore. You just erase those stuff. And make all those guidelines disappear because now it's the start of the shading process. So too much of lines will make it, you know, ugly and uh, make it, you know, really sketchy. But if you are tending to do, you know, like you're trying to do something really realistic or, or hyper realistic, you definitely should erase those lines. Yeah. But I erased the wrong line, I guess it should be here. Yeah. And uh, so we are going to talk about light and shadow here as well, a little. Uh, either there are two kinds of ways of, you know, like including the light and shadow. Either when you look at the picture, but parts are getting dark. Shit. Aula. Again, no matter. Aula. Again, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I did it. Sit, 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 sit. Okay, guys. Uh, <laughs> as you could see, uh, Game of Thrones. No, this is Wala Friggy. <laughs> yes, uh, this is Friggy, you know, the, uh, my German Shepherd. So, this guy was the main reason last week and today the camera fell and you know <laughs> these connection issues you know we have to always maintain you know whatever we do we also and, you know it's a pet so it's lovely you know we have to always keep the pet along our sides right so no no hard feelings with friggy i hope it's not with you guys either i hope so because you definitely should not right so let's continue okay 
Uh, as I was talking uh, about the uh, erasing parts, I'm erasing the. Oh no, no, I was talking about what? Uh, the shadows. Yeah. So as you could see in the reference picture, can it's on the right hand side of the picture, the cheekbone or right below the eye part is getting dark, right? So either you can mark it in this way, like you know, like you can mark it in this way. This way, it is also possible. Or as you know, you can go with when you're when you're coloring it. I mean, shading it. You can go with that as well. So everything all right now. So. Yeah. Uh, so we're starting the shading. Basically, as usual, everything we have to do is based on the structure. You know, the form and the structure is the most important. After that, only the shading process starts. And even when you're doing shading, we still have to fo focus on the form and where the lines are going. For example, I think I showed you the, that day as well. When drawing the circle and turning it into a sphere, we did it this way, right? But if you're doing it in this way, this would still be a circle. So if you want to make it 3D, you have to go with the shape of the object when shading. So that's what is important. If you want, if you, it's just a flat figure, Always remember what drawing is actually sculpting on paper. Okay, it's sculpting on paper using lines, you using colors, using shapes. So that's what we are doing. So when doing that, always the way you hold the pencil, the way you shade, and where you uh, make the figure, where you do the form, structure, that is really important. All right, so going back here, okay, uh, we are going to focus on the paw here. So it has a little finger. See how chubby those are right here. And there's another one in here, right? So going back to this side, a little bit on here. Can everybody see? Yeah. Uh, in here. Yeah. So the other pole is here. So it is in the arrest and uh, Right. Focus on here. Like that. So now it's just marking those uh, fingers of the uh, puppy here. And uh, this do look like a, you know, a little bit of a uh, more than a Rottweiler. It looks a little bit of a bull mastiff, the puppy. <laughs> so we have to make the ears a little look lower and uh, create the shadow right below and keep going up here control your lines like that okay so oh almost forgot there's another leg here okay so we'll do the leg part sorry in here and uh, Focusing on these two parts. This is the paw, uh, le the leg actually. Right. Here you go. Everything all right. In here a little bit down. Okay. Now, get your... Uh, you guys have a stump. I think I told you about this last week. So this is called a stump. Okay. This is made out of paper. Actually, you can you don't need to buy this. You can actually make this as well. Or else, if you don't have anything, what you can do is actually you you can get a cotton wool. You know, cart, cotton buds which you put your ear uh, earbuds, right? So earbuds uh, are, is also a really good object for using on this. Uh, if you have, please use this. So what I'm focusing here is mostly I'm going to use this. This is already a used one, so it does have a little bit of graphite on it. Uh, I'm going to shade the parts randomly in the sense I'm going to darken everything which I see darkened from this. So here we go, right? Looking at this very carefully, I'm also following the shape while I'm uh, doing this. This is this is no magic and no rocket science. This is just a stump, okay? It does look like a rocket, but it's a stump, okay? Cool. Right, here you go. So we focus on the shades and like that so these are the shadow parts right as i have told can can anybody show the can Rishi show the reference picture yeah no 
that cool so show it back uh, to the, this so what i'm doing is you know i'm uh, focusing on the dark spots here and trying to make it using okay if if you guys have not used this ever before this is how you are going to use it huh? uh, this is from a different brand i recently brought it i told you that i put on dallas and it did not come on time yeah it came on this week right so i'm using this this uh, i don't know what is the brand I can yeah, it's called hnb this is the first time i'm using this uh, but it is kind of good i i actually used it yesterday i mean this is the first time i'm using it for portrait you know just to practice uh, if you guys do know how do not know how to use the stump first uh, using uh, you know like making it a little bit darkened and use the stump and shade it you know what the stump does it uh, what the stump is you doing is you know it's it tend to smudge the process of a stump or the use of the stump is to smudge stuff you know either a piece of paper you know tissue papers work well and cotton buds earbuds all of them work right okay so that is how you make it work and i'm going to share these stuff as well in the sense i'm just marking these stuff you know because it's getting darkened right so here it's really dark so maybe uh, pretty much darker than this Yeah, some of you guys may think now I'm gonna mess it up, you know, because of darkening some parts. Yeah, shall I show you magic? All right, here you go. I'm darkening everything. Yeah. So this is also one kind of superb way, that you can dark everything like this. and make sure that you don't darken either you can darken it or just do it as i am doing i i might tell you how to do it i will tell you how to do it right so darken everything using the stamp this is one of the easiest ways actually to get the form and you know everything correctly easy in the sense this is kind of cool there you go so Make sure that you have darkened everything. All right. Okay. Uh, okay. Can you already see? What I did was I just used a stump and darkened everything. Right. So I'm using what is this? Uh, this is eight B, six B, and four B for darkening purposes. This is six B. This is eight B, and I think this is. This is also eight eight B from a different kind of pencil, a brand. But I should be showing. Oh yeah, four B. There you go. So we have four B here. Uh, I'm gonna use four B for you know to create the fur textures, and also six B for that purpose. But eight uh, B, I'm gonna use this for darkening purposes. So going on here and find trying to figure out where are the most dark. So what I'm doing is I'm shading it in this way. This is the way I'm using. I'm not even, you know, not not even doing textures before. I mean, it does have a texture coming from the paper, but this is now. I mean, I'm not using it as lines. I'm using from the edge of the pencil, but not the tip of the pencil, right? So, guys, better use the tip, uh, the edge than using the tip, in this case, right? Any questions, guys? No, no, cool. So I'm darkening this stuff. This is like the quickest way, fastest way of doing this. You know, we we have to create this before one. And yeah, last time something happened. So guys, tell me how about it? How is it going? If you guys uh, put it on the chat, so they would say for me. Questions or something random, something about art. Usually, yes. Oh, oh, guys, I'm also thinking of doing a podcast uh, with, or like, let's say, a very famous artist. So you guys can ask him questions as well in the future. I'm trying to do it. Maybe it's through a Zoom meeting. I don't know. Uh, let's see. We'll do it somehow. Right. So what I did was I darkened everything, which should be darked from 8B, like this, just randomly using the edge of the pencil, not the tip. Again, telling it was the edge, but not the tip. You know the difference between edge and the tip, right? Edge is this part, tip is this part. 
right and in here as well more darkened stuff right two darkened up moving on further in here a lot darker guys so if you want to show me the picture put it on whatsapp In what instances can we use to tip answer in that question? I will be actually showing you that in future. Uh, then again, I'll okay. I'll do a more small demonstration. So now I'm using. I'm trying to use the edge. Now the edge, the tip. There you go. So here, uh, basically, okay. Uh, first look. I darken this stuff because of one reason. That is to dark this, as you can see. Darken it. Darken it. Darken it. So now I'm using the tip of the pencil. See, look at this. Now I'm holding. Now see, I'm not now holding the pencil from this end, right? I'm not using the pencil from this end. I was using on this end, but I'm now using from this end. The C is for creating the texture, so the fur like this. I might go back and forth in these two, but you know to make more detail, what you do is using it on here. Now I'm now actually used to draw from here, so you know. So that is. Most of course. See, now I'm using the tip of the pencil. So this is an instant that we are using the tip of the pencil. I mean, we will we are going to use this uh, tip of the pencil for a very long, like when we come to the top parts and all, to make the fur texture going on. And see, again, telling we are not drawing fur fur in this way. This is not the way for drawing fur, right? This is the way of drawing fur. I mean, lines. See, so we are drawing fur. See. This is the way. This is the way. See, right? It tends to create fur, but when you do like this, this is creating something else, not fur. Surely not fur. Okay. Right. You may you may see I'm doing something like this, but I'm actually not doing that uh, because I'm a little bit fast on that. What I'm doing is actually I'm going on this. I'm going on this in the sense uh, here, and you know from here, in the sense like this. Then going on this way, I do go from here. See, I don't connect this. Right. So this is an instant where you use the tip of the pencil, and we are going to use this on more on top. So why did I do like that? Because it is there, and also to create, you know, to make it more beautiful. Now you already have that differentiation. Can you see this is more darkened? This is less darkened. And why did I uh, darken the whole picture? That is because uh, you know, uh, fur exists on skin, right? So maybe this give you a illusion of skin present in the dog. Right, so if there are you know like negative spaces in between the fur, you will be seeing the shaded process. So it, it might not look like there's no white patches on beginning, right? So this is a very dark dog, you know, like Rottweilers have black fur, jet black fur. Still, you have to hold on because it's really important. Like this, look at the picture always. It might help you. In the sense, after all, what you're trying to create is the same picture, but you're gonna make some changes. But that's not from fur, right? We are gonna make changes from different stuff. So see, uh, now it's already dark. Now I'm using six P because it's less dark in here. I'm using six P. See, and I have also told you what type of pen. Uh, Big, uh, paper did I use? Uh, I I used uh, a nine heart paper. That's what they called it. It's from nine heart, by the way. So it's three fifty GSM or two fifty. I can't remember exactly. But anyway, I think it's two fifty or three fifty uh, GSM. Okay, GSM is the gauge of the paper. So it's when the gauge of the paper is higher, that means it's gonna be like hard, hard paper, right? So 
it's very high that means it's cardboard okay right so as you can see uh, can you show the picture a little so on the neck on the left hand side uh, you can see the uh, the part which i create the fur popping out of the neck that part so in there as you can see there's a dark part as well as a very light part right so now we are going to focus on the light part here can you switch to this side so here and i see the thing on this way right so make it light and uh, see i'm now using a very slow method and why am i using this slow because i don't want many make it darkened i want to make it differentiate from the rest, rest of the fur pattern which i used so i i make it a little bit lighter by making it a little bit slower actually slower in the sense what i did was you know hold the pencil lighter So now it does have you know a specific differentiation on there and in here more focusing on uh, this right so again going up so right uh, again we'll we'll uh, make this happen first we'll darken this stuff i actually wanted to darken this right like that Can you see now it's already in here? Can you zoom in here? It's zoomed. Right. So can you see? So this already has the fur pattern look, right? Yeah. So it already has the fur pattern looking in here. Right? So when you focus on the other side, the right side from the neck. See? This is untouched. Can you see the difference? Yeah. See now what makes this also a difference? So you have little more, right? So we'll uh, start focusing on that a little again. This side, same process, same method. Uh, tip of the pencil now. 6B or 8B, I'm sorry, 8B. In the sense, making it darker. Why is 8B? It's because we want to make it darker, right? So can you guys remember the year starts from here? I actually got copyright for that. <laughs> My friend Dimitri told me the copyrighted from Dragonline Studios. Year start from here. Yeah. Is Dimitri here by the way? I guess not. Right. right. So now switch to 6B because it's a little bit lighter from here. Making it... Uh, more lighter until it goes here right so now you see if you go close to the picture can you show the picture near the paw part of the puppy there yeah so i mean the leg leg part of the puppy so the fur is not like what i created uh, focus more on the picture my picture right so it's not like what i created because I did not go upwards. It's what it creates is actually, you know, like we are creating on, on top of each other. So that is what actually happens. You know, it's not uh, a single process. You have to work hard on it and it takes time. If this is your first time, I think it might take you a lot of time. Probably should take a lot of time on the first time. That's how it works. So, you know, like everything you need to practice to make it perfect. I darken the leg part a little to differentiate it from the fur, which we used for the dad dog and the puppy dog here. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm actually making the fur go down like so. Can you see? I'm making the fur go down. Any problem? No. Good. All right. So popping up like that. More. Okay. So now I'm, I'm going to erase this stuff, unnecessary stuff, which I did to teach you guys. 
a little more. And I need a little bit space on here. Right. There are two kinds of uh, ways to not make your painting messy. One is using something like this. Right. Uh, something like this. This is a handmade home product. This is not the original thing. All right. You know, this is wood stuck on some kind of yeah, foam material. Uh, how you use this is actually keep it in here, right? You keep this on on the this part touching on the paper, and you might you know uh, lock it from your Lego or some place, and then uh, what you do is you either you can put it like this as well. So see now you can keep the this part of your hand in here, so you're not scared that you know like. When it's mixed with this, it gives you that effect, right? So if you're keeping this on here, and while you're using an easel, obviously, if you're not, uh, make sure that you keep a A4 sheet or a, some kind of other paper when you're keeping the hand on the paper. Right? This is to go very dense, you know, very uh, finer details. This is not the place where you actually need this. Where you need is actually in here. So the nose, you know, these parts, these are the parts that you need this right and see all right i take it out cool so i might not use it because uh i got a complaint from the cameraman saying that you can't see it uh so i'm not not use that right so again darkening these parts so this is the area of the neck we are darkening it a little bit further actually a lot we are darkening it a lot. And also, see, I'm I'm following the shape and following the line of this space there. If I want, I could have, you know, make it in this way. But well, that, deal, that will not give you the look of the dog at all. Try it. You will surely say that it will not give you anything. It will just look plain 2D and uh, not like what you were expecting. And surely we will be disappointed in it. So please try this method. Or else you can actually try that method from yourself and see what method works. Because I learned this by myself. So probably you can try it out as well. And now I change for 6B to draw in between. Uh, like that. See? Can you see? I chose uh, this picture because you know, he actually for a bigger one, it takes more time, and we have to make this uh, on a specific time. You know, we have that more work, right? You guys also have. Cool. Uh, so marking this up like that, and figuring out now important thing. Now I'm figuring out where's brown and where's black. So these parts is brown, but again, it's a dark brown. And in here, this is this particular part is brown. And these parts are actually, uh, show the picture, they're actually very light. Uh, this part is actually very light. Okay. So use your... Yeah, it felt good. Uh, use your adjustable eraser. This is adjustable eraser. Keep it there. Thank you. So this is an adjustable eraser. Yeah, it's messy sometimes. But then again, uh, this is a really cool object to use. So, you know, if this is very ugly, you can just, you know, just do this and uh, make the bottom come on top, right? So, and here, now it's so sticky that you can actually, you know, adjust it. This is called an adjustable eraser, so you know what it means to adjust. So from this, you can actually uh, lighten the parts. See, you are lightening the part from here. So, and also I'm trying to light it the way the fur is. Might help in future. Right. So, okay. A 2B once again. Yeah, it's 4B. Where's 2B? Ah. 
this is 2b yeah this is 2b so i'm getting the 2b and using this so why that is to ensure that there, there is a light space that we drew that is differentiate from what we started uh, by making it dark again going to change the shape like, like that now uh, you might see that i'm holding everything on my hand uh, that is actually to easy access then keeping it everywhere and also remind remember that this might fall and break your pencil tip so hold this hand a little bit tighter when you're doing that because that's important if you break the pencil you'll keep it on breaking 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 until you cannot even use it uh, especially focusing on charcoal pencils you will surely regret using charcoal if that happens you know like but charcoal is super awesome but you know like if it breaks it breaks for the end of the time because actually we don't have quite good charcoal pencils in here some of them are really cool but most of them are like uh, when you falls down that means when you're sharpening it it is brittled inside so you know it's by the way it's charcoal so it's really easy to break and graphite as well so we are using graphite and charcoal all the time you know uh, and also make your space a little bit ventilated. Uh, might, you know, like uh, graphite and charcoal is not a lot of problem. But if you're using graphite and charcoal dust, there might be a problem, which it might go to your, you know, your nose and create some kind of issue. But uh, if you're using oil, I am recommending you to surely have good ventilation. If not, it's all dead okay i mean it's not really good it's not good at all to go into your uh yeah we have linseed oil i don't know what those chemicals are made of either so it, it looks like cod liver, cod liver oil by the way <laughs> it smells like that so but, uh yeah uh i don't think you can use it though right so again i'm using the adjustable eraser to mark the parts which is getting lighter yeah can you see can't see can see now yeah so again here marking marking the parts which is getting lighter so i found the hand is also light this part very light and these parts are light so maybe we can fix it out uh, when you are drawing so okay. using the 2b very fast uh, that comes with practice keep on practicing Yeah, uh, switching to 4B or 6B, 4B. Uh, let's switch for 4B, 4B, 4B. Can you see the variation? Now it's darker. Well, actually you can get it from the 2B as so. This brand, I mean, the others actually you can't. Uh, yeah, when you're working with Stadler, if you have guys have Stadler, trust me, you can't. I mean, you cannot, you can surely identify the difference between 2B and a 4B. I did have Stadler's, but uh, now it's all gone and it's, and it's finished. Did not buy. It's quite expensive, but really worth it. The originals. You can use Faber Castle, that is also good. Uh, oh, okay. Now I'll switch to uh, what is this? A 2B again on these parts. Right, like that. Okay, sometimes I randomly choose everything and use, you know. Okay, going back to 6B because it's darkened in here. And we want to make sure that everybody sees that there's a shape of fur which is going on in this. It's quite different from what we see. So, you know, like it creates a shape. It tends to create a shape. When you're looking at the picture, you can find it out. So, can you show the picture? What we are drawing at this stage? Yeah, so it's 6P now. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, when I did, I did this a little bit faster. Uh, what I'm doing is the same thing, all right? So, 
using 6b to cover up everything which is going from this side to the end right here so see it it is creating fur to go on top of this like this okay so what you are doing is you're using your pencil in that way that's the only difference right can you see it's kind of different now it was now uh the first picture you saw it very plain 2d and you know sketchy ugly ugly yeah it, it might look ugly with all the sketches but now it's tending to create something beautiful right this is construction of our painting as i told you before uh drawing is sculpting on a paper you have to sculpt the forms you have to sculpt the parts each and everything using your pencil the first step is use the pencil you know then afterwards oh we might do a oil i don't think we might have time to do an oil maybe we'll do a watercolors or charcoal use different kind of other mediums and do something new uh but we might have to stop uh, live sessions for a certain period of time and again start afterwards but guys keep on touch keep it subscribed if you have not and uh, hit the bell icon so that uh, you will get the notifications and obviously it will get you might not need to click on personal because this is what i always do right so if you have hit an art channel it's obviously art stuff only right all right i tend to create stuff like that only so don't worry nothing else that's that oh yeah i did some uh, guys, i guess i don't know whether you guys saw the uh, uh pet portrait exhibition it's on the channel you can watch it afterwards so i'm going to switch again for 8p uh right can you guys see it yeah cool all right here pen small issues right uh it should be a little bit lighter using uh the adjustable eraser we erase that and going back for two three uh, sorry 8b and uh darkening this stuff a little more you know because it's really dark on there why is it really dark because it's getting shadowed a lot from those areas right using this see now already you can see it's almost there right so let's go for the face part uh, i'm i'm tending to do the face last sometimes because this is the time this, this is you know like uh, when you do this you find it it's almost finish so when you go relax up and come again uh, it's just a face so then you can just do it out maybe you can st uh, start from a different place if you would like but i tend to start from the bear, neck area when you're drawing uh, pet portraits a lot because you know like uh, it's really cool to do it and you know like when you look at it oh you find out it's almost finished so again friggy is coming very scared <laughs> you know like okay oh ho oh, oh. stay down stay down yeah, go 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 i'm sorry guys uh, no He's so jealous. She's so jealous that she she's not being filmed. That's the issue, right? Okay, go out, go out, Friggy. Go, 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 go. Right. So, okay, Friggy is gone again. Darkening it up uh, further, further. Make it more dark. Okay, even more dark. 
darker, darker. Make the dark. Yeah, you can see I'm using my pencil so hardly that even the easel is, you know, <laughs> shaking. Uh, that's because the easel is hand uh, homemade. Okay, <laughs> if it was a proper one, it might not happen. Right. So, uh, yeah, almost everything here is homemade. Thanks for my grandfather and my brother and us working together and creating those stuff. So as you can see, each and every point, can you zoom to the end, Rishit, a little, like these parts? Is it zoomed? Yeah, cool. So can you see every single part in here contains the tip? You cannot see this way. See, that is the purpose of drawing in the tip way, All right? That is how you create something beautiful using that. Okay, so now focus, uh, zoom it out a little and uh, let's focus on these parts. And going on on these, darkening it a little bit further. I think we can finish it fast, right? You guys can do it slow. You can rewatch this, this saved guys. So you can rewatch this from the beginning and the guys who joined up early, <laughs> in the sense, you know, early, when I say early, I'm being sarcastic late okay uh so you guys can watch the uh previous version as well uh to draw from scratch the form and all right so let's uh start here yeah so i kind of stopped it there why because i'm gonna switch to 4b and 2b once again so i'll start from 2b okay uh keep this down right that is light part because it's brown right it's brown so i'm going on like that like here cool can is everything on okay uh how am i supposed to do that in that way can you see now yeah okay Cool. So everything going all right. Marking, marking this stuff a little. So the other fur is actually going in this way. In there. So I'm just marking that out. I'm sorry. I am trying my best to keep my hand obstructed from the camera. But it's really hard to do that when it comes to these parts. All right. Yeah, there you go. So for B, darkening it further, further. I'm making it fast, so it's almost done. Yes, yeah, well, right. So this is the part which contains the leg uh, and differentiating from the leg of the puppy and so i'm gonna make it very dark in here just marking the dark part for us to work on then create a little, little bit darker like that you see it's very dark there why because it's uh, creating shadow from the leg of the puppy right so that's the reason and in here as well i did not do it yet so let's do it going on and uh, actually when you look at the picture you see this lower or let's say the lighter colored fur is not actually dominant in here much as i have done so we might have to take it out a little bit so like that and uh, here you go mm. all done it on like that how do you like that da, 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 da. how is that guys okay and gonna change my uh, pencil to 6b 
the fur is going on this way, I'm going on that way, my pencil is going on that way, and the tip is going on that way. The use of the pencil being this sharp is this reason. It's endless work. No, it's continuous making work stuff faster. And you know, like if it was a very blunt tip, you know, see, look at this, I did not sharp it in that trick. And you see how much has gone. That's the reason. But I sharpened this because I, obviously this is a new pencil. You know, it, I tend to keep it a little bit bigger sometimes. But these are all pencils, so who can so <laughs> make it pretty sharp? I mean, this is thousand times sharp, right? Probably. No. These parts to create the graphite rod to come very long. You know, it's taking out a lot of wood. Yeah, oh, not this. Uh, going on uh, 8B. Yep. Almost done, I see. It's already done. Almost done. Huh? This is really fast work. You can like put more effort and create it more realistic, but this is uh, like basic guys, basic for, basic on my end, I would say. So I'm erasing the unnecessary stuff. These fur patterns, which I showed you. Mm, these are just running back. We need further fun. Okay. Yes, unnecessary stuff. There's a lot. Right. Oh God. See, it's not even going. This is a demonstration. I would say it's a demonstration because you know this can't be solved at all because of this reason. Everywhere pencil marks. You know, it, it looks obviously ugly when it comes uh, like that. Right. So now what we have to focus is this part. So let's give more try on there. I'm using a 2B once again just to mark the edges a little. All right, it's like differentiating the stuff from the cheek and the neck a little like that, right? That's what I did, okay? And again, as it is dark, using this to make it further dark, using the same method, tip of the pencil, right? So guys, one of you have to do me a small favor. Um, I don't know. It's fine. Okay, I found it out. Yeah, uh, guys, uh, what I'm using for sharpening, uh, this is a carb carving knife. It's super worth it. It's really expensive. Ah, yeah, uh, I brought something cool as well. So it's the, let, let me show you that as well. You know, the pencil this belongs to, oh, the package that that belongs to. Yeah, can I have it? Yeah, cool. Okay, so this is, uh, I would say I should have done it in a different way. You know, <laughs> you know the review of this stuff in a different way. And create a new video, but as you guys are watching, so this is and P. Uh, this is that. Well, uh, yeah, I, I took the 8B from this, actually. This is a super cool item, by the way. So, uh, and to this. Actually, this did not come. I mean, the white charcoal pencil did not come, but it had space. I already had the pencil. I added it out. Oh, this is a super cool item I want to show you guys. Right. Uh, can I take it out? Oh, yeah. How am I going to take it out? Okay. So this is a super cool item, by the way. Uh, this is, uh, you know, making the pencils a little bit as they are really short and it's no longer cannot be used. Uh, if it is no longer usable, you put it on and voila, you have a, you know, a long pencil, see? Now this is a broken pencil. It's just wood, to be honest, no graphite inside. Very useless pencils. Yeah. Mm. Let me put it back inside. So this is like how much? It's 3,500 something, which I brought it from Daras. So, yeah. Yeah. No Daras sponsors, but <laughs> nobody's sponsoring my videos yet. I mean, how how would they be just 69 subscribers, guys? It's useless. Anyway, uh, this is a really cool thing. I might do a review on this on the next video. So I'm going to shut this out and keep it there. and not going to show you till from the next video. Can't hear.
Ah, right. Okay, going back uh, for this. Uh, here you go. Mm. Oh, oh, not this pencil, no. Using the uh, 8B, darkening it up like this. And oh, but I did not sharpen it. Oh. And stuff are going out. Uh, yeah, let's sharp this. So the way you're sharpening the pencil is really important. I hope this is good uh, wood. If not, I must. I really will be embarrassed in here. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I hope this is good wood. Okay. Uh, this is the first time I'm sharpening this band. So you know, if this is not good wood, I will break the tip. Okay, and you know, that will be so embarrassing. Okay, guys. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm just sharpening the pencil to get a longer tip. Okay. Yeah, the dog's getting <laughs> covered from uh, pencil sharpener. Yeah. Wood parts, poor fellow. Yeah. So. Oh, he's telling why am I still staying here? Oh no, God save me! Yeah, he does not. She does not know anything about God, though. The only God is us. Yeah. Dust on me. This is not sawdust, Friggy. This is just the pencil wood. Okay. Well, I, just, I think I invented some kind of new wood. Pencil wood? Seriously? What's that? All right. Okay, uh, made a little bit sharper. This is more than enough for me at the moment. So, going back. Uh, yeah, see, now I'm more comfortable. You should find the way that you're most comfortable with then it's easy for you right see now actually to be honest the lower part is almost done you can go back and forth and finish it out but you know we have losing more time we have to work fast so this is super cool at the bottom for me we actually i'm not much satisfied i can go back up and make it more realistic a little but you know, we are running out of time okay so actually the back is done, the down part is done and I'm gonna erase those unnecessary stuff once again. Here you go. Okay, so uh, guys, uh, I'm gonna lower the, I didn't know to you. All right, password, can you guys password it? I should password, All right, cool. Uh, I'm gonna move this down a little. Uh, because if I lift my hand up, you will probably not see. So I have to focus on the, come on, go, come down, come down. It's not coming down, very embarrassing. Yeah. You guys can focus here. Cool. So what I'm starting here is the face. So I'm uh, locking it out. Right. So it does not move down. Okay. I'm starting to focus on this part. I'm going to make it fast now. So, uh, edge of the pencil, not the edge of the pencil, the tip of the pencil. Focusing on the shade, darker parts. No. So, a pattern of the darker area. You guys can see it's still, right? Oh, let me darken this part. I did not see it. I have already drawn that on top. Darker. Like that. Oh. That's there. Okay. Dark and up. Uh, focusing here as well. So these are the most, uh, you know, tensor parts. Uh, guys, can one of you do me a favor? Can you zoom that picture a little for me? I mean, not you. Are you better also zoom? I, I want to zoom it out for the uh, face. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, guys, uh, that's that's what you're focusing on now because we are focusing on the face. So I zoom the picture for a little, and little in the sense I'll be working on this zoomed part now, and uh, working hard on that. So this take time. To make it, uh, you know, the personality of any dog comes from the face, as humans are. I mean, like, personality in the sense, you know, the character, right? So, change. Every dog has their own way, difference. 
so better focus on that so let's say like we have to make it like real as possible in the sense make it as much as likely as possible that's the correct term likely as possible so can't see can you see now right so here you go using the same method guys the tip of the pencil for pattern that's all right what i'm doing is i'm going uh with with the shape and form using the pencil tip like uh, that so now i uh, figured out that this is uh, it should be a little bit sharpened if not you will not see that you know the thin parts the thickness is to high now it's good right so remember or uh, remember guys we are focusing on here okay this part so that is the cheekbone part the here this is a cheekbone so what we are drawing is we are drawing on the cheekbone so the cheekbone is going on this way that means we are drawing for on this way right not on this way this way downwards see we are focusing on that to go on downwards can you see Making it go down and up as well a little right cool so we are going to switch the uh, pencils 6p 6p guys 6p and uh, going on the same way but even more down we have to make it like different you know there's a difference between the sorry uh the cheekbone uh which is right next to the eye and in here so that is the jaw part i mean it tends to go inside a little right so focusing on that when you're actually fluent with it you can either go on this way this way when you're drawing the pencil or this way this way this way right so uh, when you're fluent with the pencil you actually unknowingly it's going on both the ways and most it's un uh, i don't say it's unintentional but it's un no we intention in the sense we have intention of creating it in a, like a different way as it is trying to focus on uh the shape so probably we are going to do like that we are almost there guys we are almost there hold down with me right and uh, there's a small part which we have missed let's include that Right, so that is also there. Oh, why didn't I color this part? Uh, actually, I will be coloring it uh, with the stump. Yeah, stump, yeah. I'm coloring it with the stump and erasing it again. Why? Because to show uh, that there's different color in here, right? Using a 2B, somebody change something? Any questions? No? All right, uh, 2B. Yeah, there you go. To be and the focus there more and in here now we are going for the part uh, we will start from the a different time uh, i mean uh, today but in a different uh, later so with the to be i'm putting uh fur, i'm actually drawing for here like that uh, focus again knowing that this part is circular so there you go like that so i see you see that i'm doing it on the both ways see but it does not create this effect that comes with practice again focus on the eye this part in the sense this part which i created just now can you see 
what made it like it's more different now. Can you see the fur pattern, fur texture there, right? So that is what should come at the end of your project, right? Cool. Uh, make it zoom out. So this is very, all right, then zoom it in. Let's zoom into the part which I'm doing. All right. I'm focusing on these areas now. Hold the camera still, guys. <laughs> All right. Cool. All right. Everything going good. Uh, we have to make it the edge part a little bit darker. I'll use using 6B, 8B once again. Why? Because uh, this puppy's leg is making a large bass shadow, uh, very sh shadow effect on here. Yeah, so in here, that's more darker going on here. Right, there you go. Okay, now uh, to be uh, more, you know, fun, you know, make it more interactive. I will actually do the eye without going on these stuff. Maybe if I can't finish it out, maybe you know what, because you actually started doing everything with me. So you know how to do it, right? So it's the same process of following the other parts. Uh, but eye and the nose and mouth is different. So I'll be using it today. Uh, I'll focus on that if by any chance, if you might not have time. Oh, oh guys, so I'm using uh, the 8B, which is the darkest pencil at the moment for me uh, to make it darkened up like this. It's the most darkened part which I see. I darked it very darkly like this. See, it's very dark now, right? So, and on here, I will make it a little bit more dark. Right, so it's going on that way as well a little. Uh, taking that effect, uh, you are ah, you can use the finger as well for stump purpose. I actually, we used that before a very long time back. You know, I used that very long time back. Now after I got stumps, I'm actually mostly using stumps. But whenever I find out that the stump is not like close, maybe it's far, I use the pencil. Ah, uh, the finger. Cool. Uh, again, now what we're doing is uh, we're going to take 6P, okay, and draw the eye in this way, okay? If this is the eye, drawing in this way, you know, eye is a sphere, right? So, can't see? Reconnecting. Reconnecting. Right. Here you go. So I'm making the eyes here. Okay. Connected. Okay. So I got the eye. Now I'm going using the stump and shading this into this way. So now you see it's darkened. And uh, it does have a, you know, like a wet effect, wet, not that much because we have to create it, uh, but it does have something different from the textures, right? You know, this is the fur, but that is the eye. You can clearly understand that by even the method I used it, right? So this is the way actually to do that, okay? Uh, you've seen your eraser. You're making this on the top where light is falling, very lighted. And in here as well. Either you can leave space and draw, or else you can actually draw an erase. I recommend you to draw an erase than uh, leaving space and drawing. Right? So that is, that will give you a more effect, cooler effect than I'm using the other erase as well to make it uh, more lighter. Like that. Cool. Uh, Getting the stump again, oh no, getting a 6B, 8B, and uh, darkening the eyeball, you know, the part which is, you know, the black ball, 
for the inside guy. I don't know what you call it exactly, but you know, I can't remember actually. Right. So here you go. There. There you go. So you have that. Can you see? With that, I'm mixing again on here. And again, I'm using my stamp uh, eraser to erase the unwanted, or let's say the brightest parts actually. And with 6P, is it 6P? Yeah, 6P, I'm using uh, this to create more darker and denser effect. Right, like that. Actually, this could be go going even further with right kind of materials. You can use either white there and you can make it more focused on that as well. You know, like I am not actually satisfied with the eye. I might go further and uh, make it more darker and create it as realistic as possible you know, with the materials which I have at the moment. There you go. All right, so we have a glance of the eye. Maybe I'll go back and forth and create it a little more further. Okay, uh, so the nose like this. Right? In from here, the nose fur is going vertical. Upwards. Yeah, upwards. Yeah, and uh, so with that, if not, it will be looking horrible. There you go. And uh, look to the puppy's face and create the stuff you might have forgotten. Like me, I also have forgotten some stuff, you know. That's how it works. So don't worry. Here you go. Right. See? The eye monitor. I am not satisfied with the eye. Better. Faster, faster working on here. Faster works, make it a little faster, higher, and go again for darker version. There you go, make it darker. Right, here you go. Right, so now we are going to focus on the nose a little, or let's finish this part and we'll focus this thing, the nose. Right, making it darker, the same process. Okay, don't freak out the same process I'm doing. I went a little bit faster, but you no, know, you can work out. It's, it's not going to be a problem for you. Any questions? No? No questions? No. Right, cool. Zero watching. <laughs> right, cool. So here you go. Here you go, it's already done. So start to draw the nose. We'll leave the puppy for next time or maybe later. So, drawing the, uh, marking the snout part, which is more getting darker, uh, just making it, you know, darker. Like that. Yeah, so it's already giving you a glance. Making sure that it gives you a glance is the most important thing in the sense, you know, like you need to get it on the wheel of running. Leaving space a little in here for a little. There you go. Cool. It's also done. Uh, focusing on the uh, 
right there you go making it lighter here so it goes downwards keep in touch further down sidewise vertically down all right so eyes again darker versions of eyes darker shading leaving space working I there you go right and in here I'm gonna make it using this method dark in the whole area which is getting darker and using the stump I'm uh, mixing it out like that same process same layer everywhere right so you can go back and forth and make it darker like this way more dark and there's that uh, water effect because of the saliva we are going to create it in a different way we have more time for that so do that later right this is the lip lower lip this is the upper lip make it down like that and Focusing on making it lower. Right here you go. I made it a little actually. Uh, Making it a little bit very dark. Are in? All right, right. So, okay. So we actually have finished this part a lot. Uh, we have we are leaving space for the saliva part a little more, and uh, moving down. Okay, and using the stump, creating this effect. We are gonna go again and uh, make adjustments. So. That is the adjustment which I'm doing right now itself. That is the adjustable eraser. Yeah, adjustable eraser to do the adjustments. So erase this like that. Yeah. So and you can get two B or a six B. A six B works well, and get that effect. You know that there's a small texture look down there, and in here more darker look texture look on the top, but dark look on the bottom like that and going faster just go there cool and in here making it more darker it is having a you know a yellow color thing here because of the reflection uh, and saliva fallen reflection fallen on the saliva so more darker space darker fur now we are going to fur again now these all parts are actually containing with fur so we are going uh, fast on those areas but very low but let's say let's actually very shorter very shorter uh fur, fur pattern so we are going very fast but I'm focusing on that don't lose focus right going again on this area because that is also lighter very likely we can just follow through up and these areas are also lighter maybe we can go 
very fast on these stuff because it's light by the way and in here again a little bit darkening up a little right so almost done almost done actually right so now here we are going on the shape once again focusing on the shape and shaded out to create that effect hard okay space it's almost done we have to go for the nose and the ears then we are done with the big dog again going this way with the fur faster this way going faster more faster yeah, effect on that. There we go. In here, you have a small, you know, happy face sort of. So maybe there, making it more fast. Right, uh, lovely. All right, almost done. And in here. Right. Right. They are now going for ears. Going with two beats of because it's little lighter there you go i'm going uh, a little bit away from what i drew because i found out there's small error and in here so then again this is getting more lighter and darker at the same time so going on the same process that we did uh, faster more is going on this way right getting uh, 6 8p making it more darker darkening these areas a lot there you go uh, covering up the process Okay, now you can use uh, your adjustable eraser and lighten those parts which is getting more lighted. The brown parts, I would say. And that's the difference now, right? I, I think it should be a little bit smaller in here. And a little bit lighter from here as well. Like that. Okay, now uh, very important part, which is the, you know, there are like pores inside, so the you know whiskers are coming out from those. So let's mark those a little. Just give them a random look, just to show that it's there. That's enough because it's just, you know, just the illusion that we're always working on, not real thing. Getting so there's a fur come. Whiskers coming out right here, we'll create that there, and more one here. That's now right. so down, dark, light, low. Almost done, guys. It's 
and ask them then it's finished right uh, in here I'm gonna make it more wet look by using the adjustable eraser to get these kind of effect you can actually go back and forth and make it even you know realistic as possible but maybe this was a small demonstration in here like that dark light dark darker light uh, darker darker okay almost finish only the nose part is there for us actually it's really easy to create this just add in this darken this a little like that and get the 8b dark the nostrils inside is more darker outside is lighter mark the part like that and a little more on the either sides like this you can actually go you know create the texture as well but uh, this is a demonstration of not non-realistic but basic ones so There you go. The nose is also down. There you go. It's done. And this you can actually get it further. Use an eraser and highlight the bites. Finish actually. The same with the puppy you can try the puppy by yourself and put it on whatsapp so that i can give you the feedback right so my number is also there in the chat box if anybody watch this afterwards when the session is finished you can actually look into the chat box uh, you know and work it out does anybody asking for drawing the puppy? No, right. So then, puppy, you can draw it yourself and show me. Is anybody there? By the way, yeah. Like that. Get this effect a little more to give you a differentiation from that uh, the snout is different from the chick. But this is a very, very uh, low quality demonstration. I mean, like you can make it more realistic. This is just nothing, okay? You can do more on this work further and make it more beautiful. If you're making more time on this, will create this to go more beautiful and more realistic so it's almost done I'm just going on the these edges you know just to uh mark those stuff a little maybe and here i might do the leg of this guy a little because if not the this one's neck part is almost uh unseen therefore i might do it a little bit very slowly There you go. Right. Okay. Actually, it's done. The male dog is done, guys. So, nobody on chat, right? Right. So, okay, it's done, guys. Uh, now, what you can do is just erase the unwanted stuff and finish your painting. 
uh, it's better if you can you know erase all the stuff which is unnecessary to create it a very beautiful look at the end right it's almost done Keeping this stuff now. Right, guys, that's all. Uh, can one of you just zoom the portrait from top to bottom and just show it for the end? Top to bottom, then it's done. Uh, focus on the you know uh, eyes and those parts a little, and zoom back and forth and show. So. You can see how that was really fast, by the way. Right. So that's the end for today. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you have any problem, just put on the chat. Uh, okay, you can put it on WhatsApp. Uh, go through my YouTube other channel, other parts which I did, and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Every link is there in the YouTube channel. Right, guys. See you. Uh, we'll meet up in another day. See you guys. Bye. See ya.